Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Woodward. When teeth are dead or infected inside, one treatment option is root canal therapy. People wonder why we might want to consider treating a tooth with root canal therapy rather than extracting it. Particularly for certain larger teeth, like the canine teeth and carnasal teeth, it makes sense to consider root canal therapy. Let's take a look and see why. Teeth that are commonly damaged from trauma include the canine teeth and these larger chewing teeth in the back of the mouth, commonly referred to as the carnasal teeth. You can see that these teeth in this plastic model are very solidly rooted and would be very difficult to extract. If we look at this plastic model of a dog skull, let's take a look at just the upper canine teeth. The gum line on this dog that would be approximately the size of a beagle would be there, but the end of the root is all the way up to there. If we look at a cutaway of this canine tooth, again, the gum line would be approximately there and the end of the root is there. When a tooth is dead or infected, the entire hollow area of the tooth, called the root canal system, is full of dead and or infected material that trickles out the end of the root and causes an abscess far up in the bone. When a tooth is dead or infected, there are two options for treatment. One option is extraction. To extract an upper canine tooth, a large gum flap must be raised up and bone from the lateral aspect of the tooth must be removed in that entire area. When the tooth is then extracted, it takes about 20 sutures to close up that gum flap. The other option for treatment when a tooth is dead or full of infected material is to drill small access holes in the front of the tooth and at the end of the tooth so you can gain access to remove all the infected material, sterilize the area, fill it full of filling material that prevents infection from pooling inside the root canal system, and then place very durable fillings in your access holes. The other teeth that particularly benefit from root canal therapy are these large upper chewing teeth right there. Also these large lower chewing teeth in which the roots go almost all the way to the bottom of the jaw. And the lower canine teeth that actually make up about 80% of the cross-sectional diameter of the mandible. Removal of these lower canine teeth is especially traumatic for the patient. Treatment of a dead or infected tooth requires either extraction or root canal therapy. Root canal therapy can be less traumatic for the patient and also help maintain function.